Today we're going to show you how to test um, the exterior paint on a house to see if it's positive for lead. And we're using a lead check test kit. These are instant lead test kits that you can purchase. We've got these from Sherwood Williams and they're relatively inexpensive. And this packet comes with eight test swabs on it to, for testing lead. And I've actually we've got a house behind us here that's in the north end of Boise. And in this area of these homes, these homes are are 50 years old or older, and so that falls into the time frame where lead could actually be positive in the paint on these homes. And you don't want to do any sanding, scraping, or painting or prep work prior to testing it for lead, because if it's lead positive, there's a lot of rules and regulations you need to follow by the EPA in regards to doing the prep prop properly and disposing of lead. I've actually removed a couple samples of paint off this home behind me and we're going to be testing it and showing you how we actually use this test kit um, to actually test for lead. So I'm going to just open the lead test kit here. I'm going to remove one of the swabs right here. And this is one of the lead tests so you can see up close this is the lead test kit here. This is one of the swabs right here that we're going to be using to test this sample right here. And on these lead test kits right here, the swab, it's got uh, A and a B, and we're going to be putting our thumbs on both of those points, A and B, and we're going to crush those two points. Inside here there's little glass vials, you crush them with your thumbs, and then the chemicals are going to mix, and it's going to make it ready to test for lead. And so I'm just going to take, squeeze down, pop both of those, and now both of them are broken. I'm going to shake twice like this and then I'm going to squeeze gently and you can start to see the liquid, yellow liquids, come through the cotton swab on the end. And we can see the liquid coming through. Once that liquid comes through, as we're now we're going to take and squeeze and gently rub our cotton swab on our paint sample. And if the cotton swab right here turns pink, the area turns pink or red, then it's positive for lead. So as we can see, the area right here is pink, and our cotton swab has actually turned pink. So that's a good indication that it's positive for lead. If it doesn't turn pink and just stays yellow, then you're not positive for lead. So we'll take, show you another paint sample that this paint sample has, we'll try the back side of this was probably the fourth layer paint down which more likely was positive for lead. The front side that green paint was a little bit newer and possibly is not pos uh, lead positive. So break, crush A and B, shake twice and then squeeze the liquid and you start to see it come through. And now I'm going to rub this liquid right here on the front of this paint sample and the liquid doesn't turn pink, it just stays yellow. And so it stays yellow on the swab, doesn't turn pink or red, and so that's a good indication that it's not lead positive. So this top coating right here is not lead positive. We have the back side, and you can see right here, it's bright pink, bright red. And that means that back side of that paint is lead positive. So this home does have lead paint on it, and you got to be very careful and follow EPA regulations when it comes to prepping and painting a lead, lead positive home. So we have both samples of paint that we tested from this house, and I've got both samples right here. And if you see it get close up, we got two swabs. One of them that's red, one of them is yellow. So one tested positive and one tested negative. And here's our two samples that we actually tested right here. This one's positive, this one's negative. So it gives you a good look of what it's going to look like if the house or the paint that you're testing is positive for lead. And these are lead check swabs that we purchased from Sherwin-Williams. And you can get them from Home, Home, Be Home Depot, sells them, Lowe's, a lot of your um, other paint stores and hardware stores, home improvement stores do sell these lead check kits. The lead test kits that we use are made by lead check and these are quick and easy to use lead test kits for interior and exterior painting. These lead test, um, instant lead test detect lead on painted wood, metal, vinyl and plastic, children's toys and dust. So 
they're highly versatile, they're instant test, non-toxic, easy to use, safe, and they're disposable. And these um, lead tests, you can see, you can remove one of them, and it's just a little test. It's got two vials in it, and there's one with a liquid and another one with a chemical, and when these two vials are broken, they mix together and it activates the lead test. And we've got one that is actually broken here that we use and it's just crushing the inside of it, mixing the two chemicals, and then the chemical, you'll squeeze it, it'll come out, out of the swab right there. When you're actually using it and you squeeze the chemical, you're going to want to squeeze it and rub it on your test area for 30 seconds. And to begin testing, your house or whatever area you suspect there's lead on, it's extremely important. You can rub, take your test, and you can rub here and test for lead right here. But if you're going to be doing any type of sanding or scraping, it's very important to know whether what's beyond this surface has lead to. So you can have a paint sample and we could be scraping paint off of a house. So it's important that you not only test you know the, the surface of the house but you're also going to want to be testing the back of your sample or what's underneath so whenever we're doing a test we're going to take and find some area and, and we typically use a five in one or like an exacto knife or some type of knife and cut off a sample of paint so we can test underneath the paint and this you can see this paint here a lot of older homes if you're getting pre-1972 1974 when lead was present there's you could have multiple coats of paint on the top of the house now and the top layer of paint won't test positive for lead but what's underneath would be lead positive and that's if you get to sanding down to that area it's important to know whether there's lead there so we got a sample here that we've actually taken off the house and I can see on the back of it three different colors so we're going to be taking and testing not only the front but we're also going to be testing the back for lead and to test this sample for lead, I mean, all I got to do is just take, I got a vial here, a non activated vial, got A and B, it tells you lot A, it's got lot A and lot B right here. And we're going to crush A and B together to activate it. We're going to shake it twice. It's, you're going to see an orange chemical begin to come through the swab. And when we're rubbing it on here, we're going to rub it for 30 seconds. If it turns red or pink, then it's positive for lead. I'm going to go ahead and crush both of them. I'm going to shake it twice. And now you can squeeze it and you'll see the orange begin to come through the swab. I'm going to take and squeeze it and you can see it's still orange. I'm going to keep rubbing it for 30 seconds. You keep rubbing it like that and typically within a few seconds, if it's lead positive, you're going to see it begin to turn pink or red. I can even turn it on the opposite side continue and my swab is still orange this right here the sample it's got multiple coats of paint on it and we're just continuing to rub here I'm getting some on my skin but it's safe it's non-toxic it's not gonna hurt you you can see our lead cast kit here is still orange so this paint sample and this actually came off of this house it came off of a barn area that we're gonna be actually scraping sanding and painting and so we know that this right here, the barn, was not positive for lead. Good, simple lead check test for 